where Neanderthals really wiped out by Campi Flegre, Europe's supervolcano. A volcano beneath Italy erupted 40,000 years ago, causing catastrophic effects on Earth's climate. Around the same time Neanderthals began their slow march to extinction. Deep beneath the Earth's surface, the Campi Flegre, supervolcano, near Naples may be slowly starting to become active. This massive volcano has a tumultuous history, and some experts believe that an eruption 40,000 years ago could have played a role in the Neanderthals' extinction. But did it really kill off our ancient cousins? This 7 to 9 mile high, 12 to 15 kilometer high, volcano, located in southern Italy not far from Mount Vesuvius, of Pompeii fame, is a massive underground volcano that hasn't erupted since 1538. However, it has shown signs of increased seismic activity periodically since the 1950s, and new research suggests Europe's most dangerous volcano may be preparing to erupt. Campi Flegre has produced several major eruptions in the past. Most notably, an eruption that occurred about 40,000 years ago may have been Europe's largest in the past 200,000 years. Volcanologists call it the Campanian Ignimbrite, an eruption that scored a 7 on the Volcanic Explosivity Index, according to a 2020 study in the journal Frontiers of Earth Science. The scale only goes up to 8 and only supervolcanoes have recorded eruptions with the highest rating. The eruption brought about a major shift in Earth's climate, and it happened right around the time the Neanderthals, Homo neanderthalensis, went extinct. The timing of the two incidents has led scientists to speculate that the Campi Flegre eruption may have influenced the Neanderthals' extinction. Benjamin Black, an assistant professor at Rutgers University, was part of a team that built a climate model in 2014 to test the hypothesis that the volcano may have delivered the killing blow. Exactly when the Neanderthals went extinct is still a matter of debate, but there is evidence to suggest that it probably happened around the same time as the Campanian Ignimbrite eruption, he told Live Science. I think it's this coincidence of timing, plus the possibility of climate disruption, that makes people wonder if the eruption was related to the Neanderthal extinction. The model predicted a cooling of 3.6 to 7.2 degrees Fahrenheit, 2 to 4 degrees Celsius, in Europe in the year after the Campanian Ignimbrite eruption, depending on how much sulfur was released. That would be colder than the 3.6F drop in temperatures known as the Little Ice Age, a cooling period from the 14th to 19th centuries that saw widespread famine and social unrest. So it's conceivable that a major climate catastrophe triggered by Campi Flegre could have wiped out the Neanderthals. But other evidence doesn't add up, Black says. Our models predict that the most severe volcanic cooling occurred farther east, not in the areas of Europe where surviving Neanderthal populations appear to have struggled to survive, Black says. He argues that while Neanderthals were undoubtedly affected by the volcano, they were far from where most of the climate disruption actually occurred. 